Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. And today, my friends, we do battle with the Empress of Light in daylight. That is right. Today is the day I'm hopefully going to get myself the Terra Prisma. <laughs> it's going to be an exciting day, my friends. But the first thing we need to do in order to get to that point is we need to make ourselves a custom hallowed biome. Now, you remember this island here that originally had crimson on it? Well... I think what I'm going to do is transform it into a hallowed island. We should be able to do this pretty easy, like, my friends. So, my friends, if you're excited for today's episode, an Empress of Light-focused episode, then please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off. So this is going to be an interesting one because the Empress of Light in daylight one shots here it makes things like regen potions and iron skin basically obsolete right i mean if you're gonna get one shot there's no point in having higher defense there's no point in having higher health regeneration there's not even any point in having a high amount of health it's kind of silly in that sense isn't it <laughs> okay so in which case yeah wrath and rage for more damage Ammo reservation is a good idea. Swiftness. Oh, most definitely swiftness. Oh, that is going to be key. Movement. Being able to move around quickly, my friends. That is a good idea. But yeah, my friends, aside from that, I mean, those four buff potions right there, that's our Empress of Light daytime kit. I wonder, do we by any chance have any, like, hallowed powder? Is that something we have? We've got vile powder. We've got vicious powder. Oh, that's just bog standard purification powder. Oh, I got my hopes up there for a minute. I saw the color of it and I was like, ooh, that looks very hallowed like. Ah, sad times. Oh, I forgot about the existence of holy water. Bottled water, hallowed seeds, and pixie dust apparently are all that are required. So holy water there it is i mean 10 we literally don't need any more than that it's kind of silly really it's such a small amount of space we just don't need any more than that so up to the island we go and we begin on the spreading of the hallow here wow this is actually incredibly easy to one zero okay so they don't actually have as much of a spreading radius as i first thought but I'm pretty sure this will still count. Does the space layer really sort of replace everything else? I mean, previously we had a crimson here and absolutely zero enemies spawned here. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not get to invade. But yeah, I have a theory that the space layer interrupts the spawning of any other... But excuse me! Stop trying to invade! Could just be we need some more hallowed blocks over there, potentially? So then, prismatic lace wings can continue to spawn in the hallowed biome up until midnight. So far, absolutely nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think the space layer is the place to create custom biomes. It just doesn't seem to work. I think the space layer just completely interrupts all other biome spawning mobs. Yeah, absolutely zero sign of any hallowed mobs ever existing here. Just feels like I've wasted a bit of time here. Ah. Okay, so we need to go down to the surface. We need to try and determine a location for the actual hallow. I was thinking maybe on the right-hand side here, we got sort of an empty desert area and a bit of grass next to the dungeon. Maybe that's going to be the place we set up a bit of a hallowed biome. But obviously beforehand, we need to shield the area first, right? So yeah, going at it again with some snow blocks here as our biome shield. We should have this hallowed biome up in a jiffy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shield activated. Yeah, ain't no hallow getting outside of the bounding box of the snow here. All right. Holy water time. Yeah. All right, so there we are. We have ourselves a nice hallowed area. I really don't mind if it spreads down below. So long as it doesn't breach the snow barrier we've got going on, this should be nicely contained. So, uh, yeah, guys. I mean, we're pretty much there in terms of having a nice custom hallow in our world now. 
excellent stuff. All right, so I'm thinking we place down a bunch of these here buff stations. I mean, you know, it's not really going to be that useful against the Empress of Light itself, but we can probably do with these things for, like, farming purposes or whatever. I mean, you can get many more buffs here if you tried, eh? <laughs> Look at it. We got just about everything you can need. All right, all we need to do now is, well, wait for nighttime to uh, come along. We've pretty much got everything done in preparation for this thing. We just have to wait. Nighttime is approaching, and when it does, at 7.30 p.m., we have four and a half minutes to try to gather ourselves as many prismatic lace wings as humanly possible. As much as, yes, we have quite a lot going on in terms of enemies, what we will also have going on is prismatic lace wings, because for some reason, the hostile mob cap and the normal critter mob cap, they're the same. So... Yeah. All right. Nighttime is here, my friends. Nighttime is here. All right. One already. Good oh. Literally 15 seconds in, we got our first one. Lace wing number two. Lace wing number three. Lace wing four. Five. And five prismatic lace wings is what we're going to end on here. Epic. Nice one. All right. So we got five attempts at the daytime Empress of Light. All right. So we discovered in the last episode we can summon the Empress of Light wherever we please, so long as we're super quick about super quick about it boom there we are buffing up dragon on and let's do this thing oh have to do this completely flawlessly when she does a dash that is when we can sort of go away there we are oh whoa. good lord oh already got halfway wow that is nuts okay 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 and okay all right very good very good very good Okay, and we're dead. No, what we needed to do there was go up to our top left, but I felt like I was unable to because I knew she was going to dash. <sighs> okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know we've got this. I know we've got this. We've just got to try and last it. We almost had her in that particular attempt. The last episode, we literally had a flawless one, but we didn't do all of the damage in daylight. That was the only issue we had. So, boom, boom, and next attempt. Bada bing, bada bing. Ah! You have got to be kidding me. Boom, boom. Buffing up. And we're just going to go left to right this time, okay? There we go. Right, then you're going to do a dash. Then you're going to do your sun routine. That's it. All right, we didn't have our uh, stealth mode on. Yeah, that probably would help a good amount. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, ah! Sometimes I can do the line attack. Sometimes I'm terrible at it. I've got absolutely no consistency whatsoever when it comes to the line attacks. That is so frustrating. We have one more attempt and we're already out of attempts for this particular Terraria day. All right. Boom, boom. Buffed. And we go to the right side this time. Oh, that was a little bit on the close side, actually. A little bit of that. No! Why do you keep doing that? Stop dashing into me! Oh, you son of a turd! Great! Another night time required for more prismatic late wings! This isn't going to be annoying at all. Oh, jeez. All right, next batch of attempts. We have six of them this time. Boom! Come on! Come on, Python! Come on now! All right, dashy, dashy, dashy. Now we avoid her sun thing. I mean, I'd love to be able to use my stealth mode here. There we are, right. This time it's going to be the lines. There we are, there we are, there we are, and there we are. Oh, 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 okay, very good. Oh, she's dead! I didn't realize she was near death! Oh my god. I just did it. That's got to be, like, near a record time for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I already showcased this loadout in the last episode, but this... Truly, there's nothing better. This truly is the ultimate ranger loadout you can have. We actually got the Terra Prisma. Now, for any of you guys unaware, I have never, in the entire time I've played Terraria, I've never had the Terra Prisma before. This is literally the first time I've ever had this. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, my friends. Okay. Absolutely fantastic.
just fantastic. See, the thing is, what I need to accompany this is the kaleidoscope. We have a treasure bag from before, from the ranger boss rush. And basically, what we need to have happen now is we need RNG to be on our side. We are looking, ladies and gentlemen, for the kaleidoscope. Boom! Oh, no kaleidoscope yet. Oh, hello. 77 magic damage. I've not seen this before. Opening up the second one. We got a rainbow cursor. Oh, that is cool. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, you... Wow, well, oh, you can equip it? What the heck? Oh, so you can have it on your... Oh, look at that! My cursor actually is a rainbow cursor now. Ah! Oh, that's awesome, dude. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. All right, my friends, I've never used this thing. Oh! Maybe something to consider trying when it comes to us making our ultimate mage loadout, eh? Yeah. Okay. Very good, my friends. Very good. We do need to take out some more Empresses of Light, though. I would really, really like to have the Kaleidoscope. Truly, I would. Oh, needless to say, we're going to go ahead and reforge this Terra Prisma, and we are going to see what it is capable of. Can it take down its own boss a whole bunch of times? Mm, that is the question. Let's do a bit of reforging. We've got the greedy ring on. We're looking for anything with plus damage. I mean, deadly's kind of nice, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. I think. Mythical. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it time for us to make ourselves our ultimate summon loadout? Hmm. Yeah, I think it is, you know. I think it is. So there's the Stardust Armor. What kind of summon accessories do we have? Can we, for example, make ourselves some slight upgrades? I think there is room to do exactly that. So starting off here with the Papyrus Scarab. Increases summon damage by 15% and knockback of our minions. Nice. So we get menacing on that. That is a total of 19% increased summon damage. We already have a further 19% increased summon damage with the usage of the menacing summoner emblem. The Necromantic Scroll with another potential. 14% summon damage. Oh man, that is ridiculous, isn't it? And then we got a whole bunch of defense with the Berserker's Glove. So, from 89 defense down to 65. That is a fair decrease, it has to be said. But, I feel like we should be able to get something going on here. Once we get ourselves a bunch of damage going on, oh man, it's game over. It literally is game over. See, the thing is, what do we take off? Because there's actually four class accessories as opposed to just three that we were using with the ranger class right oh we're gonna have to make some tough decisions aren't we my friends some very tough decisions indeed i mean the celestial shell would seem like the logical thing to take off yes it gives us quite a lot of small buffs which sort of total up to become big buffs but I can't take off any of my movement stuffs. I think movement is absolutely crucial. Like, not just in the ranger class or the summoner class, but just movement in general for all classes. I think it is crucial. So, yeah. I'm sorry, Celestial Shell, but I do believe that you are going to be the thing that is taken off in favor of our summon accessories. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's do this thing. We're looking for menacing on pretty much everything aside from the Berserker's Glove. There it is. Menacing Papyrus Scarab. There it is. Took a while, but we got there in the finish. So, Berserker's Glove going on and three loads of damage. So, currently, the Terra Prisma does 178 summon damage with our three damage summon accessories. We now do 232 summon damage damage and that is not even taken into consideration any kind of whip the kaleidoscope is what i am looking for by the end of today's episode my friends if we can get that i'm going to be absolutely beside myself with excitement so we've got a morning star here with eight summon tag damage and it looks like it also enables the ability to do critical damage with our summons too yeah and obviously once we put on an icor flask oh man it's game over truly it is it will be game over for terraria and since we have loads and loads and loads and loads of money there's no reason why i can't get legendary on this okay there it is 414 summon damage <laughs> i guess the question is just how many summons can we have right now uh if we take off the bewitched effect one two three four five six I can't tell. 
I can't tell how many swords are right there. But yeah, there we are, my friends. Our ultimate ranger loadout right here. Here. The only things that are wind up being interchangeable are these two here, and that depends on whether we're using a bow or a gun. If we're using a gun, recon scope. If we're using a bow, molten quiver. So yeah, that is the first out of four ultimate loadouts that we're making in this series. Today, my friends, we're focusing on the ultimate summoner set. I believe I have it on me right now, but we need to give it a test, okay? Oh, I just realized. I don't know if we've got a sharpening station around here. Uh, do we have a sharpening station? I think we had one down here, no? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, darn it. Any additional buffs we can have are going to be very useful. There we are. Okay, well, I'll put that down there for now. We need ourselves the flasks out, and that is the final piece of the puzzle. We can then take down the Empress of Light. So, aside from the flask of Vicor, I'm feeling so confident that actually we're going to do this without buffs. Okay, so let's go ahead and put one of these out and bring this fella in. Oh, snappers. Oh my goodness me. Doing all the damage, my friends. Absolutely love to see it. Ooh, oh, the sun effect thing. Yeah. See, the thing is, we need to stay relatively close to the Empress of Light. Otherwise, we're not going to be doing all the damage. 4,700 damage. Okay, already in second phase, my friends. Epic. All right, now we've got all the lines. And we survived that. Pretty all right. My god, the Terra Prisoner is insane, isn't it? Oh my word! <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous! I love it! Wow! Okay, Kaleidoscope, yes? Ah, darn it. Is that a way to make the Kaleidoscope, or is it still only gotten from treasure bags? I don't know! And another one binds the dust, my friends! Oh, good grief, I almost died myself there. Okay, Coolio. Very good. Kaleidoscope? Yes! We got it! Oh, dude, that is big! Yeah! 466 summon damage, 20 summon tag damage. Oh, man. <laughs> Just, you can't get much better, can you? Truly. Boom. All right. Come on, fellas. Let's do this thing. It's time for another round of Ponage. Yeah. That's right. Do your little thingy. That is going to be your sun routine. Yep. Okie McDokey. All right. Let's keep it going. Another dash. It's going to be another bunch of little fragments and things being shot out. Excellent. Okay, so far so good, my friend. So far so good. All right, time for the lines. Okay, I uh, pretty much perfected the lines. All right, come on, come on. Don't die now, Python. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> what she do I do? <laughs> Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, believe it or not, my friends, that is the Empress of Light mastered. I do not believe we are going to be needing to grind her out anymore. I think we're done, my friendos. Next episode, we will do the boss rush. But for now, I am out of time for this particular episode. So, my friends, I'm going to say a massive thank you for watching. But before we head on off, we are going to do the comment of the day. So for today, Caleb says, maybe you could make a build with a massive amount of luminite bricks just to show the RNG lords that you'll use their stupid unfairness for good. Loved the episode. Thank you so much, Caleb. I really appreciate the kind words. Yeah, absolutely. That is something that I would very much like to do. I don't think I've ever made a luminite build before, my friends. And, well, check out the amount of luminite we have still left. See, the thing is, it's not just luminite bricks we can make. I'm pretty sure they added a whole bunch of different luminite bricks that you can make by chucking the regular luminite bricks in the shimmer. And depending on the moon phase you're on, it will give you a different kind of luminite brick to build with. So, uh, yeah. Could be a pretty interesting idea to see if we can't get ourselves a whole bunch of the different types of luminite bricks just to build with. Maybe we make ourselves some different rooms to showcase different uh, weapons or something like that. I don't know. I think a Moon Lord shrine containing all the weapons 
but each weapon has its own room, and each room has its own type of luminite brick used. I think that'd be an epic idea. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that idea. But for now, it's time to wrap up the episode. Today, my friends, we switched to our summoner loadout, but we haven't done our ultimate summoner episode just yet. This episode was us focusing on the Empress of Light. So look forward to next episode. We've got some good times to come. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and the fact we have finally, for the first time, ever taken down the Empress of Light entirely in daytime and got the Terror Prisms for the very first time, then please do be sure to drop a like beneath the video. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your epic support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.